Alright guys, so welcome back to the build as I take you through my process. I went and got some copper tape to isolate the RCA cable, which the seat brackets go here and here, so that's good. And I cut four lengths of wire. This is going to be for the passenger door where there's going to be two super tweeters and two full range six and a halfs. And I went and picked this up today so I could label the wires from Myers. It's like 17 bucks, I think. Takes batteries, pretty cool. I got the first one already made. You cut that off. And there we go. Right subwoofer one. And I'm going to have right subwoofer two. And <laughs> right super tweeter, I guess ST. One and two. And then I'll do left. So, you can do obviously uh, D for driver or P for passenger, uh, left and right works for me. So yeah, I got four of these cut, I'm going to run them up in the now protected uh, cutout that I did. And eventually I got to put the boot in the door, uh, you can see, uh, anyway, there's a hole there, and there's a hole there where the boot goes through and then the wires will come through there so I'm not probably not going to be using the stock location I have brand new door panels for this and I'm going to add on two woofers here in the front so they're in front of the driver I might go top bottom and then put the tweeters top bottom but haven't decided that yet again it's not super crucial for uh, sound I'm, I'm not competing or anything. This is just going to be a display vehicle for my business. But, yeah, a lot of fun. Going to take you guys through it. I still have some stuff to get at the dash. I still got to order this. Uh, and, yeah, once I get the seat brackets made, which I'm trying to get some angle iron now. Since I moved up here where I'm at up north in Michigan, it's a lot harder to get things versus living in the city. So, yeah, that's the seat there. I got two of those. And then I'm probably going to build some kind of center console. The one that came with this, I didn't like it. It was like a plastic aftermarket one. It could have been OEM for all I know, but it was tan colored and it just, I don't know, it's just old. I'm not going to be putting any speakers or anything in it, but I might put like the bass knob or something like that in there. And then the box and amp rack, you guys will see that being designed as well. I got a lot of work to do, but still got to do the bodywork and paint. So I got brand new rubber seals for all this. So yeah. But right now, today, I'm just going to be running that wire. Um, and then I'm going to be isolating it because your input signals and the out put signals from your amps are alternating current and they can definitely pick up uh, interference especially from this this is a carbureted engine with a coil so uh, definitely want to isolate that as best I can can either do two layers one underneath I just did one over it I think that's going to be fine the biggest thing is going to be in the back where I'm going to be running uh, some other electrical stuff and i'll get to that but yeah for today that's, that's where we're at cool see you 